All right, man. You guys know what time it is, man. Welcome to another NFL predictions. So far, we are the first person in the uh, Northern Americas to have gone the first six weeks of the season. And, oh, it's crazy. We haven't gotten a single one wrong. We're going to see if the streak continues. So, we start off Thursday night. We have the Green Bay Packers going up against the Chicago Bears. Now, the Bears being 1-5, and five, the Packers being 3-2. and two. You guys know whenever the Packers and Bears get together, it's usually uh, uh, a big game between them two. Uh, but, uh, you know, we're, we're no secret here on, on uh, who we think is going to prevail. Uh, we got the Packers over the Bears. I can see the Packers putting up good numbers. I can see A-Rod having himself a, uh, a good game, 300-plus, two to four touchdowns. I can see uh, the Bears just losing by more than 17 is what I can see. Uh, we have the Giants against the Rams. Giants finally back on the winning side of things. Uh, the Rams are entering the contest at 3 and uh, 3. And that game will be played early, early morning, 9 a.m. Eastern. So uh, we got some early, early football for us. Well, on the East Coast. It's super early for you guys on the West Coast. Uh, but we're going to go on ahead and go with the Giants on this one. I, I still think Giants have you know, the potential to be one of the better teams in the NFL. Uh, they're... Just pass rush is very, very good. Uh, you know, OBJ is an amazing receiver. Eli Manning is... OBJ is an amazing receiver. <laughs> the Rams are, you know, uh, you know they're, they're a team that, you know, can look great and then a team that can look bad. And I guess you can say the same thing about the Giants. <laughs> but uh, you can't say the same thing about the us 49ers because we don't, we don't look good ever, unless it's opening day, which we won the last two years against Minnesota in 2015 and against uh, the Rams this year. And after that, it's just all downhill. But we're going to go with the Giants on this one. The Saints at the Chiefs. Saints going in at 2-3. and three. The Chiefs going at 3-2. and two. And we are going to go with the Saints. Love the Saints, man. I love what they have to offer offensively. Uh, you know, the Saints are a, a team to, you know, in my opinion, you got to have a, a good offense to uh, keep up with them. I'm not saying that the Chiefs don't. But I just think that the, the, the Saints are just going to do a, 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 enough to go ahead and outscore the Chiefs and uh, even up the record at 3-3 three and three and become victorious. The Colts at the Titans. We're going to go with the Titans on this one. Uh, every time I try and put a little bit of, you know, faith in the Colts, I, I, get, I just get let down. Something about the Colts that I, I keep wanting to believe in them. And, and mainly just because Andrew Luck. And, and I know how good Andrew Luck is can be and and i know uh when he is as good as he can be they should be a very difficult team to you know try and stop because he can have them looking exceptionally well but you know just just hasn't really gotten it to where i know he can be uh we got the titans on this one the undefeated vikings coming off of a bye week going up against the eagles now i I'm going to go on ahead and take the easy road here and say that the Eagles will be victorious going at four and two. The Vikings are some bums. The Vikings stink. The Vikings smell. They have a, a fan, and his name is Mr. Oriole, and he smells because he is a Vikings fan. They stink. They smell. They will come back to reality once they go on ahead and lose to these Eagles. The Browns against the Bengals. Bengals. The Redskins versus the Lions. So we're going to go on ahead and go with the Redskins. Again, whenever Matt Jones is looking good on the ground, the Redskins look look good. I really like what they have to offer offensively. I think they have, you know, a dominant tight end, even though he was out last week in, uh, in Reed. They have a dominant tight end. They got some good receivers. And if Matt Jones can go on ahead and, and just be – a little effective out there. I really, really, really like what the Redskins have to offer offensively, man. And Kirk Cousins is definitely doing a decent job out there as well. We're going to go with the Redskins over the Lions. The Raiders versus the Jaguars. We're going to go with the Raiders. Raiders is another team looking pretty good this year. Uh, Jaguars are 2-3. and three. Could definitely use a win right here to go on ahead and uh, even up their record. But I think that the, uh, the Raiders, who will be probably going to... Uh, out there in uh, Las Vegas. Can you imagine what it's going to be like <laughs> for 
the opposing team flying out there and being in Vegas for a week of football, like, oh man, that's that's got to be a distraction in its own, right? Like you're you're going to Vegas, bro. Like we got the Raiders over the Jags, the Bills and the Dolphins. I really really like the Bills here. Uh, the Bills coming off of a complete Goro stompage of the 49ers. Complete Goro stompage. LaShawn McCoy went nuts. They dropped, uh, I don't even know how much. I stopped watching once they hit like 30. I think they dropped 45 or 50. I don't even know. They destroyed us. And the, the Bills are looking good, man. The Bills are, are looking good. I like them over the Dolphins. The Ravens against the Jets. Now, the Jets went ahead and announced officially that uh, Patrick will be hitting the bench. Uh, Fitzy will be benched. And that Geno Smith will be taken over. Now, I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, if I'm wrong, you know, Mulligan. But I believe this is his first start since he had his jaw broken, right, last year. Uh, you know, Geno Smith isn't the best of quarterbacks, you know, but they're just trying to shake things up and, and see if he can give them a spark because the Jets have a good team. They have a, a very, very good offense, and that's – and I say good offense, they have good players. You know, uh, good players doesn't necessarily mean a good offense, but they have potential. When you, you got Decker, you got Marshall, and you got Matt Forte, you got you got some playmakers there. Just got to protect the guy and, 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 you know, be able to make – Good throws, man. Fitzpatrick leads the NFL with 11 interceptions, and I only know that because I was watching uh, Undisputed a little bit earlier where they mentioned it. <laughs> but uh, they they have potential to to be a, a good offense, man, and the defense as well. We're going to go with the upset, man. We're going to take the Jets on this one. I think Geno comes, gives them the spark that they need. You know, they have a really, really good team. The Ravens are struggling a little bit past few weeks. And uh, I think the Jets are going to try and take advantage of that, man. Jets struggling out here, but so are the Ravens. And I think the Ravens are the better team. But I think the Jets get it together and win this week. The 49ers versus the Buccaneers. <sighs> I'll, I'll be honest with you, man. My heart wants us to win, but my mind wants us to lose. Now, my heart as a 49ers fan, I don't like my team losing. I don't. It sucks. It hurts sitting there every single week and just watching my team get flooded week after week after week. It, it, it hurts my soul, you know, but my mind is like, you know what? We suck. We need to keep losing because we need help. You know, we need help. It's not like we're, you know, like, um, the, uh, a team like the giants who have, you know, like really good players and, you know, they're capable of willing, let a few go. Same with the, um, the Chargers letting wins go, or even the Jets. They got a ton of good players just haven't gotten it together. We don't have anybody on either side of the ball. We we maybe have, you know, uh, just Eric, Eric Reed is all we have. Navarro Bowman is gone. We don't have anything. We need a lot of help. So uh, I want us to, I would be excited if we won, but it just hasn't been happening, and I get very, uh, I get excited when we lose as well because I understand we need help and we need help bad. And every single loss is, is potentially getting us closer to, if we do this right, get us a very good collegiate player that can help us because we, we need help, you know, and, and uh, we need some good picks, man, and hopefully uh, we get that. So, like, again, it, it's a meaningless game. Winning doesn't help us at all. You know, we're not, we don't have, there's no chance for us to make the playoffs. There's no chance for us to win the division. We, we, we literally don't have a chance at that. So right now it's all just, you know, and, and of course the team's going to have pride. The team's going to try their best to win every game. And I hope they win. I legitimately do hope we win. But I just don't see it happening. I see us losing again. And, um, again, every loss is just, you know, we got to just swallow the big pill and understand that, um, it's just getting us closer and closer to hopefully getting us a, a much needed uh, collegiate star. We need a quarterback. We need receivers. We need linebackers. We need some D line. We need every position. We, we need help, man. So uh, hopefully the Buccaneers can help us on our journey in getting a good pick. The Chargers at the Falcons. Good game right here. We're going to go with the Falcons on this one. Falcons have been looking incredible this year. Absolutely incredible. And the Chargers have, at times, too, 
but uh, they've had some uh, fourth quarter meltdowns. But really, just like what the Falcons got going on, Julio Jones is just looking like a bona fide, just mega monster. We're going to go with the Falcons on this one. Uh, Steelers and Patriots, I believe I just found out today that uh, Big Ben is out, I think, four to six weeks or something like that. Uh, so that's, that's, a, that's a big blow for them, you know, for them to, to, uh, miss out on, you know, one of the best quarterbacks in the NFL for at minimum a month. And Tom Brady has been looking like a, a surgeon out there carving up defenses. And we got the pages on this one. Man. I, again, I believe Tom Brady is on a mission and this man is on a mission to put up godlike numbers and bring this team to the postseason, missing the first four games. And uh, he's a scary individual to go up against, man, because he is looking unbelievable, as he always does. Tom Brady is, you know, one of the greatest quarterbacks of all time. Um, and he's still looking like he's in his prime, like he hasn't lost a step at all. Uh, so we got the Patriots on this one. Uh, if they had Big Ben, I would probably still go with the Patriots slightly. But without Big Ben, it's easy, you know, notch for the Patriots. We have a big division game. We have the Seahawks against the Cardinals. Now, the Seahawks are first place in the division with a 4-1 record. The Cardinals at 3-3. Three and three. Now, a win could definitely change a lot of things for the Cardinals. Let's say, <coughs> let's say they win. The Rams lose. The Seahawks lose. Now, they're just, you know, uh, one game back at the Seahawks being 4-2, Cardinals being 4-3. and three. And uh, the Rams being three and four. So um, Cardinals can definitely make some noise here. But we're going to go with the Seahawks. Seahawks are still one of the best teams in the NFL. Very solid on both sides of the ball. And mainly on defense. The defense is very, very, very tough. And uh, we're going to go with the Seahawks on this one. And we have our Monday night game. We have the Texans versus the Broncos. Both teams are four and two. But we're going to go on ahead and select the Broncos on this one. Um, tough to see J.J. Watt not on the field on a Monday night, man. It sucks. J.J. Watt's my favorite player in, in uh, NFL. Absolutely love watching him play. He is an animal, man, and uh, it sucks that I'm not going to be able to watch him this Monday. But um, we, we got the Broncos over the Texans on this one. So to recap, we have Packers over the Bears, Giants over the Rams, Saints over the Chefs, Titans over the Colts, Eagles over the Vikings, Bengals over the Browns, the Redskins over the Lions, Raiders over the Jags, Bills over the Dolphins, Jets over the Ravens, Buccaneers over the 49ers, Falcons over the Chargers, Patriots over the Steelers, Seahawks over the Cardinals, and the Broncos over the Texans. Let me know in the comment section, man, what do you guys agree on or don't uh, or disagree with. It's your boy, Jess Mill. See you guys next time. Peace.